I'm not cute. No. I've never been cute, mate. H doesn't like it when people don't listen to him, and I wouldn't want to be those people when H gets a hold of him. H explained to him that it was a dangerous current, do not swim here. You go out on that bank, next minute you're in the hole, you'll be out to sea. And I said, look, you know what we call this place? Backpackers Rip. And they all laughed, I said, don't swim here. Go up on the sandbank, 50 metres up here. I've just driven away, turned around to look at the particular people, and there they are, straight in the same spot. Now, I just explained to you now you've gone straight into that current. Come back to the beach now. Come back in now. I just explained to you. Now, H doesn't like it when people don't listen to him, and I wouldn't want to be those people when H gets a hold of them. I look and I see these two girls are going out to sea, straight in the same spot that I told them not to swim. Just I'm ducking under waves and I see one of them being picked up by a girl uh, on a board. And then behind her, I could see her friend with no assistance. Paige has been on the megaphone to these people for the last 10 minutes and they ignored him and uh, two of them had to be rescued. Grabbed her, calmed her down, got her on the board. It was gnarly, gnarly backpackers. Well, I get back to the beach and I'm trying to be on top of it, but the Taurus bull, the horns are up and I'm livid. Oh, I'm real. I'm an idiot. Yeah. Could, what do you, you mean? You said it's sort of all right out that way. No, no. I told you not to go anywhere near that. Hey, I've got He's losing it down there. Have a word to him. I think he's not What an imbecile. Oh, I just had to calm H down. He was just going to rip his head off. I had to give him a big hug. I gave him a big man hug. You did a good dress you, mate. I understand why he's angry. It could have gone bad, so. Yeah, he told us that yeah. there's, you know, people who die here. Of course, I'm going to feel a little bit silly, yeah, but baby. I wouldn't call myself an idiot. No. In Sweden, Sweden we don't have ocean like this. No, not like this at all. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm actually a bit scared. Like that crazy guy on that private bus. You're disobeying a regulatory act. I've stopped the guy from wanting to build you. A body surfer with a handboard has been asked to move away from the flags three times. Anything that propels you across the top of water and is not motorised, you must be on the outside of the surfcraft sign. Disobeying the regulatory act, penalties may apply. He's quite focused on removing everyone else with the same category. <laughs> He's got a board right and nearly ran him over. We have had a conversation with this gentleman on, on many occasions down here. Some people believe that they have a right to their area and he wants his own buffer zone. Can the gentleman with the blue cap and handboard, can you please come back into shore to have a chat with me? Yes. How are you? So, so I was trying to keep this close away. I know, so what, what happens, right? So you're considered a surfcraft user. All right, so that's a surf craft, is it? Yeah, so you're the same as a board rider. Yeah, that's what I was trying okay, to so right on the edge. Like that, that crazy guy on that fiberglass board and took the head off. You're disobeying a regulatory act, but we've been down this path on many occasions. I've stopped the guy from wanting to build you. Okay, so let's just make this the end, all right, okay, please? No okay. He was non confrontational, he wanted to know what the rules were. Outside. Yeah, that's right. So please, like, just... He said, oh, yeah, someone has actually told me this before. So it was a real positive outcome, and two parties can work together better now. Yeah. All right, well, take care, matey. All right, see so you later. This is going to be the last incident we're going to have with this gentleman, and pretty much when he goes out, he's just going to be a fish in the ocean enjoying his time. It's as dangerous as Bondi gets. Due to the dangerous, very dangerous conditions here, we are closing the beach. Bizarrely, a man has tried to go snorkelling in the massive surf. He's getting smoked, mate. 
Kerbox battles out on his 10 kilo rescue board. Uh, he's in trouble, he's actually panicking. Well, not central, the boys. See, I reckon this guy's taking a fair bit of water. Overpowered and exhausted, the man can barely keep afloat. He's swimming! It's Bondi's most dangerous surf in recent memory. But there's anarchy as swimmers disregard lifeguards' warnings. Kerbox struggles to reach an exhausted swimmer. Hoppo backs up. Despite being back in shallow water, the man panics. Just keep your eyes open if you can, mate. Keep looking at us. What's your name? Lifeguards ventilate the man with oxygen. Uh, Muhammad. You're doing good, buddy. Muhammad is from Bankstown, 25 kilometres inland. He's learned a brutal lesson about the fury of the sea. You feel better pretty soon, all right? Despite the potentially fatal incident on the closed beach, thousands still crowd the water. This guy's been swimming in front, guys. You're going too far out. Come on, guys. I don't know what's going on out here. Just listen to the lifeguards. You cannot go too far out or you're going to get in trouble. If this poor guy out of the water, if you want to be the next victim, Stupidity being out there. I don't, I don't understand why you need to go out so far. I just pulled him out. He's uh, taking a bit of water. After nearly drowning, Muhammad refuses to go to hospital. Lifeguards and paramedics can't force him, but if he's taken too much water into his lungs, disregarding medical attention could be lethal. 2 p.m. There's no sign of the crowd thinning. Bondi is getting more and more out of control. Yeah, it's the most frustrating day I've ever had here as a lifeguard. I've never seen anything like it. You know, you don't have to be a waterman to work out that, the, that it's dangerous out there. It's like 10 to 15 foot conditions, as bad as you've ever seen it down here. And you've got people putting their kids in the water. You've got guys out there swimming way, way past their depth. And I'm just pulling my hair out. It's, it's making me really tired. I'm getting really angry and frustrated. And, I thought it was normal. That's no. not normal, mate. You were seconds from disaster. We see it every day, and you were. You were I was, I was in trouble there. I was like, yelling at you. Because the end, I was talking to my mate. You're not fine, go. mate. Just take our advice. Once we had the mass rescue go down, that was the final straw. Like after that point, it was it was time to close the beach. Yeah, just attention, guys. We're just we're going to pull the flags down. Steam at the beach. Too dangerous at the moment to swim. If you want to have a swim, you're free to go up to the pool here. There's two pools. Conditions are ultra dangerous this afternoon. Beach is closed. 5 p.m. and the beach is closed, meaning swimming is no longer permitted. It's a reminder, swimmers, to come back to shore and move across. The but beach. the job's not over for the lifeguards. Hey, boys, come straight back to shore. Yep, you come back to the beach. Hey, man, with your feet on the bodyboard. Yep, bring him straight in, mate. That's it, buddy, straight in. The megaphone symphony echoes through the evening. Come back to the beach. But astonishingly, some people continue to tempt fate. Hey, boys, hey, come back to shore. Hey. The men's swimming styles reveal a lot about their abilities. It's incredibly frustrating as a lifeguard to have people ignore your advice, which is directed at their own safety. Come on. Hey! Come in! Come on! Despite repeated advice, the men, both from the UK, don't want to hear the message. Mate, you, hey, you, you, were, you, were, you were drowned out there. Yeah, you were. No, you were fine, mate. 
Did you notice where you started? You started here and you ended up over yeah, I thought it was normal. That's no. not normal, mate. You were seconds from disaster, trust us. We see it every day and you were... You were I was, I was in trouble in there. I, was in, like, I felt I was in... Well, why didn't you come? We were yelling at you. Because I was in the heat. I was talking to my mate. Mate. Honestly. Mate. You're not fine, mate. Just take our advice. Thanks, man. Anyway, thanks for having me. Yates races to two swimmers swept off the sandbank. The swimmers either don't understand or ignore Yates' warnings. The jet ski finally approaches. The situation is critical. But Yates is closer and must rescue the two swimmers on his own. Bye bye. Relax. Jet ski has trouble approaching in the impact zone. <laughs> Got you up, okay? Just relax. Danny makes a second attempt. Go get that. Danny, take you in. I'll take you in, Danny. Gotta get it on. Yatesy only has moments to get the woman on and escape the oncoming set. Lie down. Lie down, good girl. No, no, front first. Lie down. Get your legs, darling. There's people drowning all over the joint. Escaping from the heat, this woman almost met a far more lethal fate. This rip, the backpack is, and the south end is strongest, not I've ever seen it, but up there. It's water coming in from each direction, and it's even hard to get out on the board, you know, you're getting hit by waves on the side. It's, it's like a torrent. It's like a, a river, you know? Yeah, they, oh, just adrenaline got me out there. I'm pretty knackered now. Now, this fellow here, mate, can you come back to the beach? Not a swimming area, mate. Come back to the beach, please. Despite H's warnings, a man swims into a rip. Seconds later, he's going under. H races in as Hoppo backs up. Oh, my God. He's everywhere. Come on. If it weren't for lifeguards and the early assistance of other swimmers, the man would almost certainly have drowned. Another sinker. You all right, mate? Yeah, have a breather. Just have a breath for a minute. Yeah. Shout. Hey, just got him, but he's just going quick there. Yeah. It's a lucky escape for a man who ignored or misunderstood earlier safety warnings. What a congratulating you for, mate! Take him up the flags! Up the flags! Freaking hell! He would have been gone. <coughs> he was like this. They let him go, he went... <laughs> another one like this. Good thing they've got long hair, mate, I tell you. He's hatred at his best, I think. His, uh, his arms were going, his blood pressure was... Boy, and the, uh, all his hand signals going, with so he's at his best. Yeah, Only metres from shore, a father and his two children lose their footing. Suddenly, they're dragged out of the current. None can swim. Desperate to keep his children afloat, the father is going under. Shouldn't be Eddie if you can't swim. <laughs> if you can't swim, don't go in the water. You're drown your own kids here. Dad was like fully under. I've gone to try and get him and he's headbutted the bottom of the board. I couldn't. Oh, another like 10 seconds. Mate, guys, don't go in the water if you can't swim, okay? Get out of the water. 
more gym and go in the water if you can't float. Like, seriously, it's like trying to fly when you know you can't. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's almost committing suicide. <coughs> I'm sorry, I, I don't know English. It's very scary. It's very scary. Yeah. Well, the first thing I said when I got out of him, I said, I said, what are you trying to do, drown your own kids, you know? It's like a wizard. Thank you. A near drowning was not on this Chinese family's itinerary. Uh, they've only got to stuff up once and they could lose their life. 